He always good to me. I don't care what it is. He always good to me. Back in 2017, WRTV traveled down I-65 to Franklin for a special birthday celebration. This man, Jack Wood, was the guest of honor at that party. The party hosts were the people of Franklin. This past week, the people of Franklin unfortunately had to say farewell to Mr. Wood. Our Lauren Casey traveled there for a different type of celebration. Instead of an 82nd birthday party, it was a celebration of a well-lived life. Jack Wood was probably the, the kindest and givingest person I know. Like our unofficial town greeter. Uh, a guy that just enjoyed life. Someone that, if you've never met Jack and you got an opportunity to, you'd never forget him. The Wizard of Oz said, a heart is not judged by how much you love, but by how much you are loved by others. And people loved Jack Wood. The day wasn't complete unless you saw him and it forced you to slow down. Loved by not only his family and friends, but by the community here in Franklin. To have a, a Jack Wood in your town, and then to have people in town protecting the Jack Woods, every community would, would be better if, if they, they followed Jack's lead. His money was no good here. Business owners took care of Jack as one of their own. It was never a question. We took care of him. At the end of the day, we were just going to do anything and give our you know, shirts off our backs for that guy. But what they gave to him, he gave back in return. It's hard to picture the streets of Franklin without seeing Jack Wood. His signature slow walk down the sidewalks. I could always assume and find him at my bar um, ordering the same thing for lunch. He was always in good spirits and it always lifted me up just to know that, um, that Jack was there. A friendly wave from the bench named in his honor. He waved to everybody and just waving to people, everyone that drove by. Or decked out in a costume for a film at the historic Art Craft Theater. And he loved getting dressed up in costume. And, and he would play any role. He knew he could get those extra laughs. But on Sunday afternoon, people gathered at the theater not to reminisce and enjoy a classic film from their childhood, but to reminisce and remember a life well lived. A man made famous not because of his achievements, awards, or anything other than just being a good person. What do you think all of us can learn from Jack? How to love more. And just to love the town that you live in and love everyone. Um, he never met a stranger. A good old guy that is very simple, but kind, just genuine of sorts that you don't necessarily run across nowadays. In a world where we all search to be somebody, be somebody who will be remembered by a friendly wave, a gracious smile, and the love in your heart. Every, everybody needs a smile. Everybody could use a hug. And, and Jack was the best of all. Happy birthday to me. Working for you in downtown Franklin, Lauren Casey, WRTV. Jack Wood will be missed. Uh, he made life better for so many people there in Johnson County. Lauren, thank you for that story.